do you know what it means to be fat? Like, really, really fat. Um, like losing your breath from going up and down the stairs or going to the bathroom. Laying in bed, like getting out of bed was tough. It literally would feel like my my weight was weighing me down. Uh, but this isn't the next episode of uh, my 600 pound life, but I was getting pretty close to it. Uh, and it was scary. I didn't really own my own life. Uh, it was more like my body kind of owned me at this point. But I'm here now to tell you a story of how I changed my life 180 degrees. Uh, and it was in a really surprising way, and it's kind of hard to believe, actually. My name's Harry, I'm 29 years old, and a little over four years ago now, I was weighing in at over 220 pounds. It's not that surprising, looking back on it, to see how I, I reached that weight so quickly. Um, I was constantly craving foods. Uh, I, was, I was telling myself how hungry I was all the time, and I was with my mom, too, who weighs even more than me. And she was always there to bring me extra desserts, even when I was full, because uh, <laughs> there's always room for extra dessert. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was, I was also, I was working from home at the time, so I had almost no social contacts at all. Um, and I was gaining weight like there was no tomorrow. Um, I was becoming more and more depressed. Uh, and I was starting to develop like social anxiety at this point now. Uh, I think my only friend at the time was my mom. Um, so yeah, I was, <laughs> I was an obese mama's boy. <laughs> what a nightmare. Yeah, so I was, I was struggling with things like just getting dressed, putting my shoes on. I was just tired. Going to the bathroom was just draining, difficult. But I don't, I don't really know if I would, if I would be telling you my story right now if I hadn't reached my breaking point at that time. Um, I was watching TV and I decided to grab some snacks, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, I was passing through the bathroom and I saw that uh, the light was still on. So I instantly kind of got a lump in my throat and the doors were open. So I rushed in there and I found my mom. She was, uh, she was lying on the floor. Uh, so. So I rushed in and I, I called 911, uh, but it was too late. And she had a stroke and my mom was gone. I can't even begin to really explain how I felt. Uh, my depression after my mom's death was unbearable. And I was scared, you know, but <laughs> it was because of my weight. I was afraid I was gonna end up like my mother and I don't know. Somehow I managed to work during the day and I began just kind of gaming like crazy at night. That's all I was doing was gaming. Um, but little did I know that one of these online games would kind of turn my life 180 degrees. Uh, so I was, I was searching for some online games at the time and I came across a game called Pokemon Go uh, and it caught my attention. But I guess you will need some explanation on this. So Pokemon Go is a location-based game, right? So you, as a player, you need to go and walk to different locations if you want to catch those Pokemons, or if you want to join a raid or participate in a specific challenge. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I shouldn't go into too much more detail. So I actually started playing the game uh, while staying at home, but uh, I knew that if I wanted to catch more Pokemon. I had to get up and go outside and, well, you know, walk, right? So even though it made me extremely anxious at that point in time, I was so embarrassed about my weight. Um, I mean, I could, I could barely like, I couldn't run, you know? Uh, but one weekend I was, I was reading this article about Pokemon Go and it had a headline that caught my attention. And it was something along the lines of, apparently people have walked like, 4.6 billion kilometers, um, or it was like 2.8 billion miles or something crazy, you know, just from playing Pokemon Go. 
And by playing and walking all this distance, they lost a combined 97 million pounds. And that just like really shocked me, you know, like there's millions of people playing this game, right? And the article gave me a bit of reality check uh, because there has to be at least one other person just like me playing this game. Uh, so if they're doing it, why couldn't I? So the very same day, I just got out of the house, you know, and <laughs> dear Lord, was that tough. You know, I was, I was so anxious, but walking around with a purpose of playing Pokemon Go, it just made everything so much easier. And I mean, I won't lie, like <laughs> it was super hard to just walk. I was out of breath. I was sweating like there was no tomorrow. Um, but the game itself just really drew me in, you know? Uh, so I started playing Pogo or Pokemon Go for three to four times per week. And I would walk about half an hour, an hour each time. And I mean, I just, leaving the house didn't piss me off anymore. You know, I was, I was excited to play the game. I loved that game and I enjoyed moving for once, you know? Okay, so another thing that you guys should know about Pokemon Go, if you want to catch like more Pokemon, you need to move faster, right? So, I mean, back then with my 220 pound ass, <laughs> moving faster wasn't really an option. Uh, but I started slowly. I started walking to the city center instead of taking a bus. Um, and I noticed that my walk started to become longer. Uh, and then I started to notice that my waist size started to become smaller. So I was, I was getting really excited at this point. Um, so I jumped on the scale and when I saw it, I was just like, what the f you know, like I lost eight pounds from playing a video game. I thought that was crazy. I was, it was amazing that Pokemon Go was getting me excited and making moving and working out fun, which was really exciting. So that evening, I kept thinking about it more and more, like how I could just keep losing more and more weight playing this game. Um, and I did a little research and I saw that if you, if you walk about five miles every day, you'll lose about 500 calories. So if you do that every day, you can lose about a pound a week, which is pretty amazing. So count me in, right? <laughs> I, started, uh, I started playing Pokemon every day at that point. Uh, and after a month or so, I started to realize like I didn't even need to kick myself in the butt to get myself outside anymore. And I even started jogging. <laughs> so like at that point in time, that was really amazing for me. Um, but this was all because I wanted to double my catches in Pokemon Go. I just wanted more Pokemon. So Pokemon Go in general, just it motivates its player base so well. Um, it offers tons of different rewards for moving. Uh, you can even walk up to 10 kilometers and hatch these really rare Pokemon eggs. So for a Pokemon Go nerd like myself, that is like a big deal, you know? Um, but yeah, anyways, I started, I started planning my exercise routine um, by adjusting it to the game, actually. So each day I'd start planning new routes that I had never taken before. So I would get to see a bunch of different types of Pokemon. Uh, and they would appear in all different places. Like if I wanted a particular water type Pokemon, I would bike to the furthest river or the furthest lake. Um, if I wanted to catch a ghost Pokemon, I'd wait till night and do like a nightly stroll around my neighborhood. Uh, so it was great. It kept me doing different things. And even more importantly, I noticed I really started to challenge myself. Uh, I began to put like extra weights in my backpack. Uh, that kind of <laughs> hurt my back a little bit. So I stuck with the uh, wrist and the ankle straps. <laughs> and I mean, I looked, I probably looked ridiculous with them, but for the first time that I can remember, I, I literally just didn't care. Um, <laughs> and I think the best thing that happened to me while playing Pokemon Go, um, I met a relatively large and active Pokemon Go group in my neighborhood. Uh, so after years of being a loner, I, I kind of have friends now. So after about a year and a half of playing, I've lost 60 pounds. So I'm not sure if I got obsessed with the game or if I got obsessed with losing weight. Um, I don't really think it matters, uh, but I'm healthier now. 
uh, and I can walk for hours and I don't have pains all over my body uh, and I've made a bunch of friends and they help me get rid of my social anxiety for good and it's all because of Pokemon Go. Crazy.